A tragic update tonight from Southfield. A 73 year old woman has died after that fire that ripped through an apartment building. Three people recovering while dozens have been displaced from their homes and it tops local 4 news at 11. I'm Devin Skillian. I'm Kimberly Gill. That fire started this afternoon at the La Chateau on Southfield Road just north of West 10 Mile. Pamela Osborne talking with residents tonight and she joins us with more. Pamela. Kimberly and Devin, family and friends of that 73 year old woman. They actually approached us when we got here on scene asking if we had seen her. They stood by with displaced residents watching until firefighters were able to make their way inside of that apartment building where they unfortunately confirmed the worst. I passed my hallway and looked out the living room and I seen all this black smoke. Ivory Jackson rushed outside to get a better look. This is what he saw. I could feel the fire from the brick on the wall uh, at least 60 feet out towards the street. That's how heated it was up in there. Southfield firefighters were alerted to the fire around 2.15 p.m. At about the same time, Ivalo Ivanov was painting one of the units in the building where the fire broke out when he was interrupted by a fellow contractor. And he said that the building was on fire. He didn't believe him at first, but soon smelled smoke. Uh, we started knocking on all, all doors to see if somebody's going to be there so we can take them out uh, yeah, or if they need help. They got out thinking everyone else had too. Looking at the building now. Uh, I mean, it's horrible. People lost their space of living and stuff. You build something through the years and just in 10 minutes, everything is gone. Six different departments worked together to get that fire under control. It would be several more hours before any of them were able to get inside to check the units. And when they did, they discovered the body of a 73 year old woman. The apartment building is a total loss with 32 units impacted by these events today. Fire investigators are still working to determine a cause for the fire. For now, all they can say is that that fire started in a second story apartment unit. As for the injuries, two people were treated here on scene. A third was taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. We did speak with some people tonight who said that they will be staying with family in the meantime until all of this gets sorted it out, but a cause for this fire remains under investigation at this hour. Reporting live in Southfield, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. Okay, Pamela, thank you.